My name is Matthias Hegström. I'm a concept artist uh, for video games uh, most of the time, but uh, I'm uh, on the side. I'm trying to uh, draw comics, which is my my childhood dream. A year ago, about, I was contacted by this fellow Kieran Tegen from uh, from Britain, who saw a drawing I made, uh, a fan art sort of. Thing with the, the marquee Guy Davis creation and he said that he liked it and asked me to draw this comic Keen Hunter and so I asked to, to read the script which is uh, usually when I read the script it's kind of crappy uh, so I always turn those suggestions down because uh, for as I am in this business an amateur, you always get amateur writers, of course, wanting to do stuff. But this time it was uh, pretty good, actually, I thought. So, uh, why the hell not, I thought. My other work in comics is nothing at all. Since I'm a beginner, you, uh, I'm actually no beginner, I was drawing comics when I was a, a young boy. And then, uh, for some reason, I got into the video games industry, and then I made like a couple of games for for the last ten years. Actually, I've been working at Dice, making Battlefield games and Mirror's Edge and stuff as as concept artist and storyboard artist and stuff. It was when I was sent the script on Keen Hunter. It's uh, First, first, of course, I thought that, well, this is probably the usual kind of crap that, that people do sometimes, uh, to be honest. <laughs> but this time it felt kind of professional, writ. it was a professional writing and, and uh, it was good um, descriptions of the panels and stuff, which made it, makes it easy to... to to build the page in your head and stuff. You can see the page from the beginning and, and uh, then it's just to sort of draw it. I, I love, I like when it's sort of, uh, when it's sort of free, you can have a script like from a book and work it out yourself. But you can see that it, it was well thought through. I hope I bring, uh, well, nice pictures actually, but, but I, I think I'm pretty good at, uh, just good storytelling and the, the comic would will be easy to read like like you should flip through it without getting stuck on bad drawings or, or panel layouts and stuff I, I think you I think the well and sort of a classic touch to the to the I'm, I'm sort of a classic it feels like I'm going for the classic kind of comic with 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 the blacks and stuff and my my way of rendering the blacks with small lines and stuff which which is actually well suited for black and white comics but since Simon is on and he seems to do good work so it really it really really I think it will work pretty good I have of course like a thousand artists that I like and probably a thousand that I don't like or five uh, one in particular <laughs> <laughs> but but it, 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 I, I'm sort of from the beginning it's a lot of European comics like uh, those French old guys with Spiro and Gaston and, uh, and, uh, and then Mobius of course and then then i went over through the Amer to the american comics like the marvel stuff but it's always like the big guys for me now is mike mignola of course like everyone and guy davis and then we have mobius and and uh well a different various types of european guys right. and the way i work is uh, i oh, like i read through the script a couple of times 
just to get uh, get an idea of what you want to do. Often it, it's enough to read it once to have the base basic uh, idea, and then I I go to the computer and then I make make small thumbnails of of the panel layouts uh, just to, and then I make a couple of them so I can see that it flows well when you read it. Then I blow it blow it up to 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 this size. To uh, just to and then I transfer it over to to the to the page the drawing page with a with a light board so over there and uh, then I pencil it because I think I'm much better at drawing on paper than than on the computer and then after this if I take the step back to the computer I scan the page stitch it together and and then I ink it digitally on my Wacom board because I'm too scared to do it on paper because I'm, I've been uh, working on the Wacom the last 15 years so hard to go into the the paper ink kind of style unfortunately <laughs> it would be nice would be nice to have originals inked to put on the wall or sell or whatever or give away at Christmas to, to small kids so that's the process 